Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Friday night promos and whether or not it might be a good idea to go in on them. I do love them and they are very beautiful and they will never be in the marketplace anymore. And I've seen a slight increase in their price recently. Fatal Push is the last one of these promos. Then we go into double-sided tokens and lands and other stuff like that. But utility creatures, not every Friday Night Mag Magic promo is created the same. Some of them will have more leverage to go up in price and some of them will not. So Kitchen Finks is definitely one that I have my eyes on. It's $20 now from the low price of $10 for some time. It sees play in Modern. It's just a good card. It's a good card in the EDH. It has a bunch of infinite combos that you can pull off with it. I don't see this version going down and you might say, oh, they might print the same artwork, they might print the same foil, but at least you don't have that stamp. So as a collector's edition, this is the first one with the artwork. So it does have some value. Now on the other side of it, you might have foils of cards that typically you don't see in foil, like this one. A very good f and promo. The older the Friday Night Ma Magic promo, the better I think it's gonna hold its value. You do have to pick ones that see play. So if you pick one and it sees absolutely no play, it has no value. If you pick one that's more recent, it has no value. You have to pick one that, in my opinion, there is the potential for it to go up in price because it's already in some decks and this card is in a bunch of decks for EDH. It's just overall a very good card. It holds its artifacts, it holds its enchantments, and you can actually sacrifice it to destroy a annoying art. So it's good. It's good late game. It's good early game. It's good overall. I don't see it going too much down, and especially the foil prices of these cards. I mean, these cards are a cheaper way to pimp out your deck, typically speaking over the original foils or the first time the card has been in foil. Now next card I want to talk about is a little different. It is Blood Raid Elf. This card, the artwork has been reprinted. The uh, card has been reprinted many times. I think Eternal Masters was the most recent time. I think it still has a lot of value and this is what I'm going to say about it. If it ever does get unbanned, first of all, I feel like it will be unbanned. It's not that powerful, especially given the fact they changed the fuse mechanic, making sure that cascading isn't as... You can still cascade into visions, which is great, but you're like not going to do that because you're Jund. You can cascade in Lightning Bolt, which is great, but for four mana for a free two haste Lightning Bolt, it's just kind of meh. It's kind of okay. It's not the best. You can cascade into a bunch of stuff that would be useful, but given how aggro Death Shadow is, and Death Shadow being the number one deck, and does not appear that they will ban it, I could see this being unbanned, and I could see it shaking up the format as a tier 2 deck. I do not see it, see it as a tier 1 deck. Um, it used to be tier 1. It used to be you grab Liliana of the Veil, vale and you're off to the races in a Jun deck, but... Death Shadow is just too big and too aggressive, and yeah, it's just not going to work. Uh, Tide Hollow has recently gone up in price. It is a zombie, which is important. It has a beautiful artwork, in my opinion. It's kind of grotesque, but in a good way. And it's a utility creature that sees play in Tier 2 to Tier 4 decks in Modern. It's good. It has a lot of use. I like it, uh, and the Friday night, so not every Friday night magic promo will be valuable, but the, the ones I'm listing right now, I think have the chance. You might have to hold them for some time, but overall they have a, they have a chance, they have a hope. There's a hope, there is a, that this card could be more valuable tomorrow than it is today. And that's all you can really do. I know a lot of people say, oh, MTG Finance is a bunch of like really great speculators, Wall Street people. No, it's just a bunch of random people making guesses, and sometimes the guess is wrong, sometimes the guess is right. 
and it's a probability. I think this card has a lot of potential. Now, Fatal Puss, a lot of you asking, why would you, I ever say get this card since it's so recent? Fatal Puss, I can see this artwork, in my opinion, not being as good, would be my personal opinion. Maybe you disagree. However, it is a foil Fatal Puss. Eventually, those cards will be so expensive and so much money that this is the cheapest way to pimp out the deck. That's what Friday Night Magic was, or could have been, if they printed the correct cards. It could be a way to cheaply buy cards in foil that you cannot afford and make everyone happy. If you don't think artwork matters and rarity matters, well, again, going back to my reserve list argument a little bit, look at Fatal Puss regular foil and compare it to Fatal Puss this foil. And I don't know the exact price of a regular original Fatal Puss foil, but I imagine it is far more than $13. Maybe it's 25, maybe it's more. Would be my guess. I haven't looked at the price. I don't own any, I can't afford to own any. I would say it could even be like $30 or something insane like that. All right, and then the Lightning Greaves, let's end off with Lightning Greaves. This is the Steady and Stable. Lightning Greaves is a great card. It is played in a large majority of EDH decks, uh, especially aggro decks, and I don't see this being cheaper. The artwork is very nice, and it is a Friday Night Magic promo. If you own any Friday Night Magics, I would say keep them all, hold on to them, and don't sell them because there are not going to be more of them. There will only be less via people losing them, destruction, and when you talk about just the massive print runs on all of the magic cards, just massive print runs, FNM promos, the print run was not as high, especially if it had different artwork, which made it unique as anything today. Like if you look at Iconic Masters, if you look at 25th Anniversary Masters, you look at Unstable, the amount of product being pushed out in Walmarts and Targets and all this stuff. These promos only exist at local game stores. And there weren't that many of them. So if it's good, I think it's going to go up in price. And those are my suggestions. Um, if you have any, leave me a comment below and let me know what you would pick up as a Friday Night Magic promo. Or maybe you don't agree with these and uh, leave a comment why. Bye, guys.